We live in these incredible times. Probably more has been done in the last five years, uh, more discoveries, more accomplishments, more advancements in medicine than in the, in the 30 years before that. And for the first time, we, we are really seeing the potential for cures for blood cancers that uh, we, really, we really have never seen before in history. What's really exciting for me to be at the University of Colorado is we're right at the leading edge of that. There's been this explosion in understanding the biology of leukemia, and particularly these, these particular leukemic cells called leukemic stem cells. And that has given us a lot of insights into how to, how to make new generations of treatment that are more effective and less, less toxic. The University of Colorado team was built around the theme that we could better understand leukemia stem cells and then target them in the clinic. And, and, and that's really what everyone in our group is focused on and what we're all uh, dedicated to doing on a real daily basis. And we've really been ground zero in this effort. And I think the, some of the results that we're starting to see in the clinic um, are a direct result of, of the team that we've assembled and the strategy that we have to uh, really understand and eliminate the, the leukemia stem cell population. When Mrs. Trefus was diagnosed with acute myeloid leukemia, she was not at all a candidate for intensive chemotherapy. That would not have been a, a, a reasonable option. I was on my way out of this world when uh, Dr. Pollier uh, came to me and said, this is what you have, and uh, would you be interested in a trial that I'm doing that you would fit in very nicely? So I said, well, why not? <laughs> She participated in the clinical trial, which we now believe uh, has the capacity to uh, target and eliminate the leukemia stem cell population. Um, and after a very brief period of time um, with treatment, she achieved a complete remission uh, that has been sustained now for almost three years. I'm so lucky that Dr. Pallier suggested this program because I wouldn't be here. Uh, I only had a couple months to live. I'm so glad that these clinical trials that we opened um, have done so well that some of these drugs are already on the way to getting FDA approved, which means that our patients were the first people to get the benefit of this drug, which also gives us the gratification as investigators to keep going in this field. I find that the University of Colorado environment to be burgeoning in nature. There's a lot of young investigators over here who are very energetic, and I find that this sort of bottom-up activity generates lots of new ideas um, and paths of innovation. I work with the developing CD123 CAR T-cell for the treatment of myelodysplastic syndrome, and CAR T-cell therapy is, um, it stands for chimeric antigen receptor, where we take the patient's immune cells and we genetically modify them to recognize and kill specific cancers. Uh, in University of Colorado, we're developing our own CAR T cell program uh, where we're gonna be generating different uh, type of CAR T to fight leukemia, lymphoma, other solid oncology uh, tumors, and we will be manufacturing them here at the University of Colorado. One of the exciting technologies that we're trying to develop is to make the whole experience of getting treated a lot more humane and a lot uh, uh, more tolerable for people. So one of the biggest problems people have with blood cancers like leukemia is they're frequently in the hospital for weeks or months. And so we're trying to figure out ways to help people sleep better, uh, not be so bored, help manage their anxiety, their fears, uh, their lack of understanding about what they're going on. And the most exciting of the tools that we've seen is, is a new computer-based tool called virtual reality, where people wear uh, goggles and they project uh, content like, the, my favorite is called Google Earth. You can travel all over the planet, settle yourself down on Mount Everest one minute and Hawaii the next. So this is one of the reasons I like being here at the University of Colorado is there's a real commitment to trying to use the, the latest in technology, but for the most human of, of reasons. We're trained as oncologists to uh, expect the worst and to counsel patients in the, in the worst moments of their lives. Um, but through these discoveries and these advances, I feel like my job is shifting toward providing optimism to patients and real hope. 
and really develop meaningful relationships with them um, outside of just quoting them numbers about the grim prognosis that they have.